Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Reckless Boon. Today I'm going to be going over some of the basics of how to download and install Macro Deck 2. Um, so this is just the basics. Um, check out some future videos for any more advanced topics. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into it. So what is Macro Deck 2? Macro Deck 2 allows you to set up predefined actions and reactions on your computer. You can then use an old device such as an old phone, tablet, or other device to connect in to trigger those actions with a button push. This gives you more interaction options while streaming, designing, programming, or really anything else on your computer. Alright, let's get into the basics. Alright, first, to install the server onto your computer, you need to go to https colon colon slash slash macrodeck.org. And you'll see on the left side, there's a download link off to the left. There's also one up at the top. If you go there, the left side here, Macro Deck 2 for Windows, that is the server that you're going to download and install on your computer. So you might run into the issue of your Windows Defender not letting it, uh, this application through the firewall. And if that happens, you can go uh, up here over to the wiki uh, link up here. And on the right side, there is the Allow Macro Deck and Windows Firewall Help on the right side here. You can follow these instructions to uh, let Macro Deck 2 through your firewall. All right, so once you have the server installed, the first thing you're gonna wanna learn how to do is to set a button to do something. And so you, this is the deck view at the top left here. Uh, there'll be a whole bunch of open sections, uh, buttons here that you can set. If you just right click on one and you hit edit, this is how we create a button. On the left side, we're gonna modify the appearance and the starting state is off. Now there's an on off for every button um, and then that can be set down here on the bind state, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So we're gonna go ahead and just set an icon here. We're gonna make it a very simple one. We're gonna do a um, mute, not mute. So this is the off, we're gonna have the slash. We're gonna call it a mic. You can also, you can also change the the look and feel of the text underneath with all the buttons down here. You can center it, top, bottom, change color, all that good stuff. But I'm just gonna leave it alone. And we're not gonna bind it to anything. We're just gonna toggle it for now. But you could, there's all sorts of variables that you can set the on off status based on. For now, we're just gonna do it on a button click. So now that we got that set up on the left side, we're gonna go ahead and set up an action on the right side. So we, uh, you can do it on, on multiple different events. Uh, when you push down the button, when you let go of the button, uh, when a long press has happened. Now I don't know exact length of time, but I'm going to assume like a second or two. Um, and then same thing on a long press release. So that's after you let go after a long press. And then there's also the on event, which is more of a variable change, I think is, uh, yeah, it's the only thing that's available here. Um, but we're not gonna go over that. So we're just gonna do it on simple press. We're gonna, we're gonna do an action, though you can, create conditions and delays, and you can get real crazy with these things, but we're just gonna do a simple action. Uh, so I have a couple of plugins installed, but you should uh, at the start have uh, some of these built-in ones with the macro deck logo here. We're gonna go ahead and select this category, this this action button category, and underneath there, here are the actions that we have that we can set. We're going to just toggle the button state, pretty plain and simple and that's gonna turn it on or off state. So we have the off, let's go ahead and set the on. We're gonna make it look like this. So now the mic is on. And that's it, there's there's our action. We go ahead and hit okay. And now we have that button there. You can click and drag it and move it around. You can copy and paste it. You can delete them. You can, uh, you can also simulate what they do in on the server here. So if I right click, I can simulate each of those events that were happening before. We're gonna go ahead and simulate the on press. So that's as if I push the button on my Android device. So there you have it, simple button. Okay, now that you have your server set up and you have a button in place, let's go ahead and show how you can connect this to your Android device or even a web client on a non-Android device. So first things first, you need to go to HTTPS, macrodeck.org, 
download, and you can see on the right side, if you're gonna use the application, you can uh, download the APK directly, or you can get it on Google Play. You can click here, or you can just search in Google Play. Uh, that's probably the most uh, recommended way of doing it. If you do not have an Android device or want to use something that's not an Android device, there is also the option of the web client up here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be demonstrating on the web client because it's easier to capture. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit web client up here. And you'll see this is the screen you'll be met with whether you're in the app, uh, Android app or in the web client. And it's just asking you for an IP address or host name and the port. And you can get these from the server here. So on the top right, you see the IP address and the port number. If I just type in this IP address exactly as I see it, and the port is the same here, you'll see that when I hit connect, if I come down here, it's asking if I want to allow this new connection. And I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, because I want it to allow it. And once I hit yes, you'll see that it came up with a a deck back there. You'll also notice that it is not the same deck that I have here because I have separate profiles set up on top. The I can change which ones uh, my different clients use. Uh, right now this is the connected one which is in the background here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to the tutorial we have here. And there you go. Now we have this deck connected. Okay, so now let's figure out how to manage our plugins. Uh, on the main screen here, if we go to the left and click on this icon, it'll bring you to the plugin manager. From here on the online tab, it'll show you all of the different plugins that you can, plugins and icon packs. Let's go ahead and get rid of icon packs for now. But it will show you all of the plugins that are available for installation and configuration. Installation of these plugins is as easy as clicking on the install button. And if you need to uninstall, you simply click uninstall and it will prompt you to restart macro deck. For now, I'm not going to. If a plugin requires configuration, you'll see a configure button next to it here. If you click on that, it will bring up a form with all the con different configuration options. You'll need to consult each plugin for uh, help on how to properly set up and configure each plugin. So there are two things that uh, plugins can provide for you. Uh, the first one are new actions when you push a button. And if we go up to here, they will be grouped in by the plugins that are installed. So all of the Discord plugins are under here. And uh, if I were to install a new plugin, it would show up here somewhere and show any actions that are available. In addition to that, plugins provide their own variables, which may be useful for monitoring uh, different external presence. Um, such as OBS has a bunch of variables for current, you know, pr current profile, current scene, and that might be useful for you to show which profile and folders and all sorts of different things. Those all can come from plugins. All right, that's going to do it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have any other ideas for future topics or tutorials, if there's any specific plugins you want me to go over or any issues, common issues you want to see uh, fixes for, put those down in the comments and I'll take a look and maybe I'll make a future video out of it. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.